Hello there. The EU mask hasn't just slipped, they've ripped it off to show us the snarl underneath. This just shows what bubbles away continuously within the deeper, darker regions of the European Union. And as they say, with friends like this, who needs enemies? The UK has done its best to part ways with the EU as amicably as possible. We agreed to a light border in the Irish Sea, but the EU is now, after the event, determined to force it into a full hard border between Northern Ireland and Great Britain, in direct contravention of the Good Friday Agreement. We delayed rules for imports from the EU into the UK to make it easier for both EU and UK businesses, but the EU steadfastly refuses to reciprocate, so causing our exporters problems. The UK has given the EU financial equivalents for the city in most major areas. The EU has not seen fit to offer us the same. And now the UK has a vaccine programme far more successful than the pitiful Brussels setup, and the EU has decided that is intolerable. Now I understand some people are unhappy about these vaccines, but that is not the point here. The point is the EU response. The UK got its initial vaccine contract in place months before the EU did, and the UK also invested heavily right from the start. And as far as I can see, the UK contract is a very strong one compared to the EU one. That gave the UK contractual priority, so the government has a duty to the people of the UK to ensure those contracts are honoured. But the EU has used every trick in the book, from an abortive trickering of Article 16 to cut off Northern Ireland from EU vaccines, to politically rubbishing the UK AstraZeneca jab. All this has backfired spectacularly on Brussels. Now, in a panic, they are potentially about to follow through on their threat to shut the UK off from EU vaccine exports. Now, as I explained in an earlier video, the UK does have a way to retaliate here, as a UK-based company makes one of the elements the EU relies on for its Pfizer jab. But a UK government spokesperson said that it would be unlikely for the UK to do that. It seems we will be asking the EU to let its companies honour their contracts, and to retaliate would undermine that. But the EU does not care. Ursula von der Leyen, Merkel and Macron are now said to be backing a vaccine export ban to the UK, with von der Leyen telling Germany's Funker newspaper group that AstraZeneca must fulfil its contracts with what she called Europe before everyone else. Well, news for her, the UK is in the continent of Europe. Anyway, the EU is hoping that, with this move, they can drag the UK down to their level while they try to leapfrog us. The EU always prefers collective mediocrity to individual excellence, especially where the UK is concerned. In fact, the EU always prioritises collective failure above individual excellence. The EU is trying to effectively drag the UK into their collective failure of a vaccine rollout, something we rightly decided not to involve ourselves in. And this is the relationship that the EU is trying to develop with the UK, one of bossy dominance, or an attempt at it anyway. And anyone out there arguing that the EU would have let the UK do its own thing on vaccines had we still been a member of their club? You now have the answer to exactly what would have happened. So I say to any remaining pro-EU rejoiners out there, you're bonkers. So what do you think about this vaccine situation? Please subscribe and like this video, buy a mug and support me on Patreon or PayPal and thank you for watching.